Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. I hope this audio quality turns out all right. I'm using a new microphone. I'm testing it out. But uh, I hope you guys know that my my series, right, my channel is basically an anthology. And it they all the videos I create, they loosely tie into the same subject matter. And that is the, the New World Order, the Beast System, whatever name you've landed on for this totalitarian tiptoe that's really occurring here in the United States and all across the pond. But one thing I really want to drive home is that this New World Order, and it's not coming, we're already in it, baby. Uh, this New World Order is normalizing unorthodoxies as solutions. As, as long as they can do that, they're winning. And we'll see what I mean by that. We saw with the wall, uh, we had the national emergency declaration, the government shut down, the political impasse, right? That's just one example of these unorthodoxies, okay? Jesse Smollett is another one. Instead of trying to have conversation with the other side and, you know, point out the flaws in an amicable way, they'll just create stories and artificially foment rebellion uh, just to just to complete a political means, you know what I mean? And that's really what we're seeing. These are unorthodox solutions to political problems and other problems as well. And we're going to see a ramped up effort to that. You've got to remember they, and by they, I mean, you know, the powers that be, the, the powers that shouldn't be really, uh, they've wanted a national emergency martial law type scenario for a while now, but they can't just roll it out on the people unexpectedly. No, what they're going to do is they're going to, they're going to condition the people to want it. They're going to make the people want this. They're not going to roll it out unexpectedly. They're going to pit the people against each other, the liberals versus the conservatives and the, the gender fluids versus the gender statics and, you know, the race wars and the holy wars they're going to take all these elements and use it to put the people against each other so then they have an excuse to enact a martial law scenario a tyrannical tiptoe type scenario you know once we're fighting with each other once we are at the climax of an almost civil war type scenario that's when the military will be more than happy to come in and make sure that the people aren't killing each other and make sure that we're following orders that's what they want you see how that works you see how that problem reaction solution happens they're controlling rolling us. So when these new world order initiatives and campaigns started to start to roll out, and like I said, we're already in it, baby. When they really start to roll out these measures, as they already have, we're gonna we're gonna want it. Okay? People are gonna be asking for it because we're gonna be conditioned, just like right now we're being conditioned. The left and right fighting each other. They're putting people out there to put a wedge between the parties, okay? Okay, so we've long had the Democrats fighting the Republicans, and now we're starting to see an increased effort for the Republicans to fight with the Republicans, the Democrats to fight the Democrats. It's literally a divide and conquer campaign, not just putting the left versus right against each other, but literally putting the right versus the right and the left versus the left, and then anything else in between. Because even if you're not political, they have you know social campaigns, uh, strategic initiatives, psychological warfare to, to condition you, distract you, and make you believe something, you know, completely skew your view and make you believe something that may or may not be true. This is the essence of the campaigns. And you know, as these agendas play out over time, these things start to become acceptable to the people. Okay, they start to become acceptable. You have to understand, politics is used as a vehicle against the people. They're using politics against the people. America isn't run for the people by the people of the people anymore. Uh, some would argue it never was. The people no longer control the government. Again, some people would argue we never did. Low people in high places, the power that shouldn't be, those are the individuals that control things now, okay? the businesses, the corporations. I don't think it's any accident that they put a businessman in charge of the United States, okay? A lot of people, at least in the legal world, would make a, a distinction between the United States and the United States of America, one being the business aspect of it and one being the obviously the country. And we just put a businessman uh, in charge of this business, so it's no surprise. And believe it or not, people are waking up. Um, but yeah, believe it or not, people are waking up, but the system has adapted to that. They're putting people out like Alex Jones and his ilk as controlled opposition in a lot of ways to maintain the minds of the people who are shifting away from the standard model narratives. When we're not scrutinizing some of these issues, you know, we're not always going to get it right. We're going to get it wrong. We're human. We're not perfect, but we're not scrutinizing some of these issues. It's just easy for us to be controlled uh, by these bad actors and agent provocateurs. You know, and it's a shame inside of the alternative community and the alternative narratives that, you know, once we hear somebody start to espouse certain narratives we don't agree with, uh, we call them a shill, okay? We start to attack them. And there's the divide and conquer right there inside of the alternative community, which is supposed to be a, a rock, a, a, a place of refuge for individuals who are looking for truth. But now we're attacking each other. 
you know, we're allowing the government and other individuals to convince people like us, you know, the average everyday, you know, American that other people like us are the problem. OK, or that uh, convincing the middle class that the poor class is the issue. Right. We really just have to look at this from a couple of different angles and make sure we aren't being taken advantage of psychologically, that we aren't being manipulated by a, a power structure that is meant to make sure that the people don't realize that their controllers, that the opposition, the left and right is a false paradigm meant to facilitate control. Yes, there's certain there's certain things you can accomplish within the left right paradigm, the political paradigm. But increasingly more and more politics is geared toward big business, it's geared towards corporation. It's getting away from serving the people. It has gotten away from serving the people. If you don't see that yet, there's a lot of evidence out there. All you have to do is scratch the surface. OK, this is cursory stuff. This stuff comes down to money, power and control. OK, everybody thinks it's all about money. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. You, you have money. You don't get to control the minds of the people. It's easier to do that. It's easier to usurp the mechanisms and networks and platforms that individuals uh, use to inform themselves to then control the minds of the people. This is about control. They already have the money. They already have the world, you know, 90, 95 percent of the world in their back pocket. If we're talking about the, the few elite at the top that are controlling things. We already know that, okay? So if you think it's about money, you've, you've lost sight of things. This is about control. This is about power. Money is just one of the instruments, okay, to help facilitate that. Why do you think they're putting agent provocateurs and bad actors out there like Jesse Smollett? It's to warp our perception and get us to think a certain way, okay? If he wasn't exposed, I guarantee you, you know, this happened around Black History Month. If he wasn't exposed, you could just imagine the narratives, right? Modern day lynching and and Black Lives Matter and all this stuff, it would have been just uh, uh, more fuel onto the race fire, okay? If you think this stuff happens organically, you're dreaming. If you think this individual, uh, Smollett, just decided to come up with this on his own, okay, you're dreaming. What do you think the UX-16s have been about? The Jade Helms, the, the Gotham Shields, okay? Uh, Rex <laughs> 1984, what do you think all this stuff has been about? The government has been preparing for something they haven't been telling the people about. You gotta think about that. They have to condition you to want what they're getting ready for. I think that's what they're doing. This is review for a lot of folks. It's okay to be behind as long as you're making the effort to catch up. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there. California Carter, signing off.